Well, Pascal, you've had a little bit of time to reflect uh, on the two games at home against that excellent uh, Iowa team. What are you taking from it? Uh, I like the way we played. I, I think we uh, we were moving faster. We were um, supporting the puck. Our, our breakouts were better. We were attacking the net. We had more um, ozone time than the other team. Uh, we had some good heavy shifts. Um, were able to um, play four lines. Um, it was uh, it was a pretty good, uh, pretty good weekend for us. I think I think we're uh, coming together. Uh, gave ourselves 20 games to have a, a real good uh, evaluation on our players, and and uh, I think we have a we have a pretty good read right now on what's going on. The sense I got coming off the road trip was the team was a little bit dissatisfied, close, but not maybe the results they were looking for. Did you see them step up in some ways uh, coming off of that into the home games? Well, we're looking for consistency and, and consist consistency in, in how we move and how we prepare ourselves. Um, I thought we started the games on time. Uh, we were ready to go from the first face off. Uh, and that's one thing that on the road trip we didn't have enough. Um, just not exactly knowing what we're gonna what we're gonna get uh, next. So um, I really like the way we played. The Iowa is a certainly a very good team, uh, good veterans, and they can move the puck. Um, and we were ready for those two games. So it's uh, we're moving in the right direction. One of the things that jumped out uh, stats-wise from the two home games compared to the road trip, the number of shots on goal. You were able to get those numbers up a little bit. Was that part of the focus of the weekend? Well, yes, it was. Um, but the shot on net is is the, the the result of different things. How you enter the zone, how you protect the puck in the offensive zone how do you keep the puck alive in the offensive zone and I thought we we did a good job and we had more traffic at the net we brought more pucks at the net but we had the puck and uh, in order to get it well first you need to play well defensively and we did um, but we when we had the puck we had uh, uh, better motion we were we were more in sync and then we had uh, there was no secret plays um, somebody doing something and nobody else knows what's going on so um, it was um, offensively it was better because um, we were able to uh, connect the pieces together. Marco Dano joins the team uh, for practice today. No stranger to the organization or to you. You know the player very well. He comes in and, and seems to have an attitude of responsibility, accepting where he is, accepting that it's time to, to make the most of it. Uh, is that attitude important uh, for a player like that joining the team? It's huge. I, I think his attitude is uh, will make a difference in the long term. Um, right now, he's back with us, big smile, worked hard at practice. He knows what he needs to do. He knows the system. He knows the team. Uh, he knows what is expected from him. Um, this attitude will bring you a long way, and and um, he's very positive. Um, and and I. You know, if you combine that with uh, effort and his talent, he's, he's got a real gift at driving the net at the right time. Um, his timing to get to the net is is, uh, is really good. So we're going to be working on it a few things, um, but uh, he's in charge and he's responsible. And we are, all are responsible of our attitudes. And um, he's, um, he's a great teammate and he's certainly a guy you like to coach. Five points separating third from seventh in the Central Division right now. You just got off that stretch of 15 games in a row against your division, and you're right in the thick of it. Uh, is there some, not satisfaction, but positives you can take from that? Well, it's been very positive, and and we had, um, we had, we didn't have necessarily a, a, an easy schedule, but more than that, we we didn't have a nearly uh, easy early schedule just because we didn't play any exhibition games, um, and with all the new players that we had. Uh, we didn't play enough games early in the season. That's that's the way I, I see it, um, to get it going. Um, but the, the the way the guys have been practicing and the, and the way we've been coming together, um, the, the the results will get there. But it, we're we're still focusing on the process, and and uh, we can see a huge difference. Um, an example: Rick Sanqua was away for uh, some time to go see a bird in, in the East Coast. He comes back and he sees a difference in the way we move and the way we communicate on the ice. So it's a uh, very positive right now. And now six in a row on the road starts Wednesday in San Diego. Your thoughts on uh, what's been a lot of time away from Winnipeg? Well, you know, uh, road trips are are can be seen as uh, really difficult, or you can see it as a an opportunity to get together and, and to spend some time together and then making sure we're we're in the making of a team we're in the making of uh creating a, a solid bond between the players and 
and in and and for us to be able to uh, be on the road it means we're going to be spending more time with them or we have more chances to speak with the players so uh, I think it's uh, the timing of this road trip is perfect.